One, two, three. If you close the door, the night would last forever. Leave the sun. If you close the door, I never have to see the day again. This is a ukulele tutorial for After Hours by the Velvet Underground. The song was originally written by Lou Reed in 1969 and was the final track of their self-titled third album. This is one of the few songs with lead vocals by the drummer, Maureen Tucker, as Lou Reed stated that the song was so innocent and pure that he couldn't possibly sing it himself. Tucker's vocals are accompanied by just an acoustic and a bass guitar, and the style of the lyrics and the chord sequence is definitely reminiscent of the Tim Pan Alley songs of the 1920s and 30s. Before we get into breaking the song down, please hit the subscribe button as it really helps me out with making more of these video tutorials moving forward. Thank you. The song is in the key of B flat major, as per the original, and has a swung 4 4 time feel. I tend to play a mix of either a swung down, down, up, up, down, up pattern, like so. Alternatively, I just play a four down strums per bar, maybe with an extra up strum on the end after three, like so. And this works especially well for the bridge section of the song. The song form is essentially a verse, then a chorus, which are then both repeated again with some variations. Then we have the bridge of the song which then goes back to a final verse and then a final chorus with a turnaround at the end that takes us back into the last line that's repeated twice before the end of the song. The three verses of the song are all eight bars long and the chord sequence is always a bar of B flat, then a bar of G7, and then a bar of C minor, and then a bar of F. These four bars are then repeated again for the second line of the verse. It's definitely worth thinking about which fingers you're using to fret these chords in order to be as economical as possible with your fretting hand. I tend to leave my first finger at the first fret of the E string whilst moving from the B flat to the G7. And then I effectively still leave it there whilst playing the C minor chord with my third finger, barring the three strings nearest the floor leaving it ready for when I move back to the F chord at the end of the sequence. I'll just do that again, so B flat, leaving my first finger where it is to go to G7, then I leave my first finger still and I go to the C minor chord with my third finger threading all three strings nearest the floor, and then I go back to the F and my first finger is already in position. That way I'm keeping my hand movement as minimal as possible. So the full eight bar verse sequence would be something like this. One, two, three. If you close the door, the night could last forever. Leave the sun shine out and say hello to never. The chord sequence for the chorus of the song is a bar of B flat then a bar of B flat seven, then a bar of E flat, and then a single strum of E flat minor. And personally, I find the E flat minor the hardest of these chords to play. So once again, thinking about the fingers I'm using for the E flat chord in the diagram, leaving my first finger in place, I then lift both fingers three and four from the middle two strings, place them at the same fret on the two strings nearest my face, and at the same time, bring my middle finger, which was already hovering above the strings, into place at the second fret of the E string, and hence I've got E flat minor. This E flat minor chord is played on the first beat of bar four in this chorus, and there seems to be an extra beat or some free time added after this bar before starting the next line. I'm assuming that this is just down to the vocal leading the song when the recording was made. The vocal then brings us back to a bar of B flat, then a bar of G7, 
And then we have a split bar with two beats of C minor, and then two beats of F, sharing the bar. And finally, we have a single B flat chord played as an abrupt stop on the beat one of the bar. So I'll just quickly demo the first chorus. All the people are dancing and they're having such fun. I wish it could happen to me. But if you close the door, I never have to see the day again. The verses are effectively the same as each other with a slight variation in the lyrics each time. So verse two would sound something like this. If you close the door, the night could last forever. Leave the wine glass out and drink a toast to never. In the second chorus, we have the same sequence as chorus one, but this time the E flat minor chord in bar four is played on the third beat of the bar instead of the first. This is due to the extended vocal line. And again, there's also a couple of extra beats or some free time added before starting the next line. Then at the end of the second chorus, the B flat is played with two down strums on beats one and two of the bar. And then we move to an A chord and play two more down strums on beats three and four to take us to the bridge of the song like so. So the whole of the second chorus would be Oh, someday I know someone will look into my eyes and say, hello, you're my very special one. But if you close the door, I'll never have to see the day again. And then we're into the bridge. So for the bridge, as I said before, we tend to play this section with just four down strums per bar, as per the original. And so we start with a full bar of D minor, and then we have a full bar of A. Then in the third bar, we have a split bar with the first two beats being D minor, and then two beats of A again. And then in the fourth bar, we get another split bar, but this time it has a D minor on beats one and two of the bar, and then a chromatic movement down to a C sharp minor, and then a C minor chord on beats three and four of the same bar. And that would sound something like this. This then takes us to two bars of G7. Then we have a bar of C minor, where we just play a strum on beats one and three of the bar. And then finally, we just play a single strum of F in the final bar. Again, like the choruses, there's a couple of extra beats or some free time here before the vocal takes us into the third verse. So the whole bridge section would sound something like this. Dark party bars, shiny Cadillac cars, and people on subways and trains, looking grey in the rain as they stand in disarray. Oh, but people look well in the dark. The third verse is almost identical to the first verse, so I'll just play through with the chord diagrams. And if you close the door, the night could last forever. Leave the sun shine out and say hello to never. The third and final chorus is pretty much the same as the first one, with the stop of the E flat minor back on beat one of the fourth bar again. This time the B flat in the final bar is played just on beat one of the bar, and then we play an A chord on beat two, and then a G chord on the and, or the up strum, after beat two, and then also on the up, down, up, which would be on the and after three, beat four, and the and after four, which would sound something like this. Do that again. And this acts as a turnaround and takes us into the outro of the song, where we have another split bar of C minor and F, and then this same B flat A G turnaround bar again, and then another split bar of C minor and F, and then finally a single strum of the B flat chord to finish.
So that whole third chorus with the outro would sound something like this. All the people are dancing and they're having such fun. I wish it could happen to me. Cause if you close the door, I'll never have to see the day again. I'll never have to see the day again. Once more, I'll never have to see the day again. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I've linked in the card above and the video description below to a play along video of me playing the whole arrangement of the song. If you'd enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful, please give the video a like, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like a PDF copy of my song sheet with the lyrics and the chord boxes, buy me a coffee. You can see how to do so in the video description below. Or alternatively, join me over at my Patreon page where all my tutorials and accompanying PDFs are available. Again, the link can be found in the video description below. Many thanks for watching, and bye for now.